The mighty and resilient Merrimack River, carving through the communities of our great region. My name is Linda Lorden, proud president of Merrimack County Savings Bank. And like the river that serves as our namesake, we're a constant yet ever-changing presence. Because to us, it's bigger than banking. It's about powering communities and putting people first. It's about knowing where you came from and where you're going. That's Merrimack style. Visit us at themerrimack.com. Hello, thank you for joining me in this week's podcast. I hope you're going to enjoy the training material contained within. Any questions, get in touch. Mail at learningbritishaccent.com. Section 1. The importance of syllables. An often overlooked aspect of pronunciation is the humble syllable. Understanding syllables can help a lot with pronunciation and whether or not people can understand what we're saying. When we say a word, the sounds we make divide the words into parts. These parts we call syllables. So, for example, the word robot has two parts. Ro-bot, and therefore two syllables. It is the vowel sounds that dictate the number of syllables in a word. Remember, it's not the number of vowel letters we find in a word, but the vowel sounds that we hear. For example, although the word room has two vowels written, the oo sound is a single sound, and therefore room has only one syllable. To practice counting the number of syllables in words, I found two methods that can help. Method one is the chin method. Rest your hands under your chin and say a word slowly. Depending on the number of times your chin drops onto your hand is the number of syllables in that particular word. Have a go with the word teacher. Teacher. Method two is the clap method. This time, clap your hands each time you hear a vowel sound. Try it with the word important. 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 In the next piece of writing you see, take a look and see how many syllables you can count in each word. Section 2. Following on from our recap on how to count syllables, I've put together a short quiz to test your syllable counting knowledge. Are you ready to take the quiz? Tell me how many syllables does the word answer have? Is it one, two or three? Answer. Did you say two? That's correct. How many syllables does the word bring have? Bring. One, two or three? That's right, it's one. How many syllables does the word fluently have? One, two or three? Fluently. Did you say three? That's right. And how many syllables does the word ghost have? Ghost. One, two or three? One is correct. How many syllables does the word problem have? One, two or three? Did you say two? Well done. How many syllables does the word understand have? Understand. One, two or three? It's three. Well done. How many syllables does the word develop have? One, two or three? Yes, it's three. Well done. How many syllables does the word funny have? Funny. Again, one, two or three? And if you said two, well done, you are correct. How many syllables does the word played have? One, two, three. Did you say one? Well done. If you want to take the quiz on the website, I shall put the link 
in the show notes. Before we move on to the next section, now would you like to speak English with an RP British accent? Have you been learning for a while but not making much progress? I'd like to tell you about my British accent bundle, which is my online training package, which helps students from all over the world master the RP British accent. In my online training program, you'll get video lessons that demonstrate proper mouth and tongue placement for nailing those tricky British accent sounds. There are also hours of audio exercises, so you can polish your pronunciation until it's spot on. You'll also find modules focused on improving your fluency, listening skills, and conversational abilities. Now, if you think you could benefit from this training, and start to feel confident about your speaking and conversation skills, then head over to learningbritishaccent.com/bundle to sign up. Section three. Here's some conversation phrases beginning with the letter B. By the way, by the way. Now you can say this if you want to mention or ask about an unrelated topic, or if you want to change the topic. So here's some example sentences using the phrase "by the way." I ran into Mark yesterday. By the way, he said to say hi, and then he misses hanging out with you. By the way, thanks so much for helping me move last weekend. I really appreciated it. I finally finished that book you lent me. By the way, did you still want to borrow my copy of the sequel? Between you and me. Now you can say this phrase to someone when you're about to tell them a secret. Between you and me. Here's some example sentences using this phrase. Between you and me, I think the new boss is considering layoffs. Keep it to yourself for now. Between you and me, I think the new boss is considering layoffs. Keep it to yourself for now. Between you and me, I don't really like Janet's new boyfriend. There's just something about him that seems off. Between you and me, I don't really like Janet's new boyfriend. There's just something about him that seems a bit off. You didn't hear this from me, but between you and me, Sam and Chris are planning to start their own business. You didn't hear this from me, but between you and me, Sam and Chris are planning to start their own business. Better late than never. Better late than never. Now you can use this phrase when you're glad something's happened, but you wish it happened sooner. So here's some example sentences where you might hear this phrase being used. This report is overdue, but I'm turning it in now. Better late than never, right? We finally got around to painting the bedroom after three years of talking about it. Better late than never. We finally got around to painting the bedroom after three years of talking about it. Better late than never. I'm finally signing up for that 5k race, even though it's just a few weeks away. Better late than never, though. Believe it or not, here's some example sentences using this phrase. Believe it or not, this may be hard to believe, but believe it or not, I won the lottery on my first try. Believe it or not, Jeff didn't learn how to ride a bike until he was fifteen. We made it from San Francisco to LA in under two hours. Believe it or not, there was no traffic. Back in the day, or back in the old days. Now you can say this if you're talking about a time long ago or a time much earlier in your life. So here's some example sentences that we hear this phrase used. I remember back in the day when mobile phones were these giant bricks, not like the smartphones we have today. Things were so different back in the day before social media took over the world. Making mixtapes for your friends was popular back in the day before Spotify and iTunes. Section four. We are kept from our goal not by obstacles, but by a clear path to a lesser goal. 
Robert Brault. I was reminded of this quote the other day when I was struggling to focus on writing an email to my British accent subscribers. My attention was easily drawn away from writing, distracted by other projects to start or complete. I was kept from my goal of writing my daily email by the clearer, easier goals of responding to emails, cleaning the kitchen, browsing social media, etc. It wasn't until I was reminded of this quote that I acknowledged my behaviour and was able to sit down and reach my writing goal. If there's a goal you're not reaching, stop looking for imagined or real obstacles and start recognising the lesser goals you're constantly settling for. Have a successful weekend. Thank you for listening. (laughs) 